Hi everybody. I have a review for you today. This is the Ray May multi-use covered notebook. If you're not familiar, Ray May is another outstanding company coming out of Japan. They have been in business forever, which means 1890. Ray May technically means daybreak in Japanese. Their company motto is new spirit in daybreak. So you can see that Ray May actually has a lot of meaning there. They're technically called Ray May Fuji Corporation. They, interestingly enough, also carry the license to produce the famed A.G. Spalding stationery. And so they just are a company that specializes in everything office and stationery supplies. So not only do they have like covers and notebooks, they have ring bound planner systems and other types of planner systems, fountain pens, other writing implements, and just, you know, random desk accessories. So all the things that we love, this cover, comes in two different sizes, the A6 size and then this one is the A5 size. I, if you're like me and like Japanese types of good quality supplies, it's, I don't have a Japanese supply stationery store and so I end up having to order most of mine and so the two places where I was able to find were my normal sources, Jet Pens, which for some reason only carries the A6 size and then Amazon, which carries both sizes. So of course I ended up ordering this one off of Amazon for my A5 and I don't know why companies do this but the color, depending on what color you order, that it depends on your price. So it comes in four different colors, black, they call this blue, orange, and pink. So the black on Amazon was $15.43 and then the orange was $21.76 so you can get the price range there. This one was $18.20 on Amazon, and then the A6 sizes on jet pens are $20 across the board. This is not really showing up true to life on camera here. If you go to the websites and look at the, the pictures that they have, that also is not the, the correct color, and I don't know why this color is so difficult to photograph, but it's kind of somewhere in between. This one's looking more like a Tiffany sky blue range, and then, the one on the websites, they look like really dark turquoise jade peacock color, and it's really in between those two. So just to give you an idea there. This is made out of nylon, so that explains the price. It's a cheaper quality. And there are, of course, many other different covers out there for notebook covers, but I wanted to start with something that was good quality but inexpensive just in case I didn't like it. And it has polyester lining and a glue binding, in case you're interested in. Of course, it's got the three-quarter zip around, which I really like, and then a, a zipper on the front. It doesn't have anything on the back. So this, I have messed around with this zipper a lot, and these zippers are top-notch. I don't know if I've ever seen anything else with a better zipper. So I'm never going to have a problem with this, I know, and I've done this like a whole, a whole bunch of times, just back and forth, and I've never had it skip or snag or anything. So really fantastic. As you guys know, when I do reviews, I, I tell it all, the real, the real story, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I am going to tell you some things that are something to consider or something that might be a negative for anybody out there. The, a couple things with the zipper. It is fantastic quality, but it is like, let me just show you. It clangs, and that's from the zipper pulls. So for me, I wouldn't want to take this if I was in a meeting with something I think that would be very distracting if for nobody else it would be very distracting for me so that is something I like the pole because it's very easy to grab onto but it does make noise and clang around the other thing is I was reading a review on jet pens because I, I do a lot of research before I buy something and this is something I was not even on my radar but a guy had bought this and he said the zipper was way too shiny and feminine. And because I'm a girl, that, I, that didn't even register in my brain, but I can see what he's talking about because it is very shiny silver. So obviously they're gonna cater to the feminine world, but you know, I think a guy could probably go with this, but I, I understand what he's talking about. So anyway, there's a couple things there with the zipper, even though it is fantastic. The other thing is that the, the ends of the zippers, I know you're not gonna be able to see this, but they, they end right here. I don't know why the zipper is so long and why it goes all the way up here, because I don't think functionally it's necessary, but anyway, that's what it, that's, it is what it is. So that does maybe add a little bit of strength or structure to the binding, but anyway, that's just something to consider there. 
So let me open this up. Um, actually, first, let me talk about this. So I don't, there's not much to say about nylon. You know, it, it is what it is. So it's, the only thing is, I think, I'm trying to see if you can see it, but there's kind of a little spot right here, and there's some other spots on the back that I don't know if you'll be able to see because they're not super noticeable, but they are in real life to me. And it's showing fingerprints, and I'm saying that in quotes because I know it's not technically fingerprints, but I, you know, I've handled this half a dozen times is all, so it's, I haven't used this on a, you know, super long daily basis yet, and it's already showing those types of things, and that is annoying. Like, I want to use my stuff, and I don't mind when things are showing some wear and tear from use, but when it looks dirty, that's a problem for me. So at this point, I like this well enough that I'm going to keep it, and I think I'm just gonna put some fabric protector or scotch guard it or something like that because it is going to bother me if those are going to continue to get worse and to show up. I don't think you're going to have this problem if you go with the black, but I think it is going to be an issue with any of the colors. Also, I wanted to insert here that there, I wanted to do this review also because I have only seen one other review and that's the A6 size from FP Physicist. I will link that one down below. I think this is a really, really great cover for a notebook and I don't know why more people have not bought this or done reviews on it but I I think it's a pretty outstanding notebook cover especially for the price so anyway let's move on to the zipper this one does go all the way down in case you're wondering about that pocket sometimes it has things have front zippers and they only go halfway down which doesn't make sense to my brain but this one does it goes all the way down and I showed you that there was nothing on the back for that. And then when you open it up, here is how it looks. So obviously black interior. And then these pockets, these two right here go all the way down. And then these two are only like part way down. It's, I would say they would fit like a credit card. So just to let you know there. So it's got some pockets in case you're interested. The other thing, and I think this is a glaring obvious fault of this notebook cover is that there is no pen loop. So that is a big issue for me. Not enough that I'm going to not, you know, send it back and not use it, but I haven't figured out an, an awesome way to get a pen in there yet. So just to be aware, I was aware when I bought it and I didn't think it was going to be as much of an issue as it's turning out to be. But anyway, it is what it is. So then it's got this back here where you can use that. And I, and then of course this one, I, I'm sure that this pocket right here is for you to put this cover in here. And I don't know why you guys, like I even with my Hobonichis, I just, I don't put the front covers in here. And I know that that's what they're designed for, but it's, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't skip a step. Like I'm already having to open this up or unzip it or snap it or whatever. And you still have to flip to your current page. And so I, that to me doesn't help me be more efficient in getting to my page faster. And I think it's also because I like looking at the front cover of things. And so that's, I think, why I don't do it. But I know that the majority of people do do that. So in case you're wondering, it does come with this awesome A5 notebook. And jet pens with their A6 size, it does come up. It does come with their A6 as well. And then they do have refills. I have not been able to find a refill for this one. I do like this notebook. As you can see, it's very, very thin. And let me show you what the pages look like. It's 80 pages and it's white. And, but it's not glaringly white, which I don't like the really stark white. It's hard on my eyes. So this one I do like, as you can see, it's a grid, but it's interesting because it's a dot. And the horizontal ones, as you can see, are darker than the vertical ones, which I just think that's a really interesting and cool little feature there. I like that there's room up here where you can put the date or a title or something like that. So I, I really enjoy this, or will, will, I haven't used it yet, but I really like that the way it's laid out and I will use that and I've, I'm, I'm still looking. I'm hoping that I can find some refills for it. So as you can see, with that thin notebook in here, there's a lot of room down here to grow. It's not, it's very slim, so it's not very thick. You're not gonna be able to fit everything in the kitchen sink in here, but if you're just gonna have a little notebook in here, then it will work out great and you can add some things to the pockets, but I'll show you in just a minute when I add some other thicker things in here. These, I don't think you're gonna be able to use both. So you can either have a really thick notebook or you can have a thin notebook and supplies. 
Okay, so let me take this out and I will actually show you that now. So in case you're wondering why notebook covers, because when I first, you know, got into the, this kind of world, the notebook world, I was like, why do you need a cover? Like, that's just, I don't know. That just doesn't make sense. Like, just use your notebook. But really, it does make more sense to me now. If you're going to buy something like a hardcover moleskin or a, a Loistrom notebook that's already, you know, has a thick cover, you don't really need a writing surface for it. But for something like this, this is the Midori, which does have kind of a thick cardstock, but I don't think this is going to be durable. And Really, when I was starting to buy some notebooks like this, I'm like, you know, I do really want to cover because it protects it and it does give it some durability and some, some strength. It makes it stiffer and thicker. So this works out really well. This is the Midori in there. As you can see, there's still some room. So I would say with, as far as notebooks are concerned, you can either have, the, I, would, I would consider the Midori notebook a medium-sized notebook. So you can have either two medium notebooks in here, or you can have a very thin notebook and a thick notebook together, but I don't think you can get like a medium and a thick, if that makes sense. And especially, and having supplies in here. So I think you're gonna have to make some decisions because it is so slim, but you know, back to the actual name of this, it is a notebook cover. This is not like a planner type of system or you know, a an artist, if you're an artist and want to carry a lot of supplies, it, this is not really what it's set up for. So I can't really hold that against it just because I would want to add some more things to it. So another soft cover that I will show you is the, the Stalogy 365. So this is something that would you could use for the whole year. So this is more, it's, I wouldn't say that this is super thick, but it is more between the like the medium and the thick size. So still a little bit of room in there. So you could probably use that and just have a few supplies. And then let me show you some really thick ones. This is the Mikel Reuse. This is a very thick notebook. I can't remember how many pages it is, but I think it's like 600. I can't even, you can't even shut it. So that, if you have that, if a lot of people use that for bullet journaling. So this, even though it's got a soft cover and I would want to have a notebook cover on this, this is not going to be an option at all for the Ray May cover here. And then also something like, I got two more sizes out. This is the Claire Fontaine. I believe this is six by nine. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that one, which I probably am. But this is, this is the soft cover Claire Fontaine, but it is too wide. It'll fit as far as the height is concerned, but just barely. I don't even know if I can get it in because I'm on camera and <laughs> nothing ever works when you're trying to do things. Okay, there we go. It does slide in fine, but as you can see, it's really, really tight. And actually, yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like it would fit on here, but you can't fold it over and zip it. So that one's not going to be an option for this one. And same thing with the Erin Condren notebook, if you have any of those. That's this, kind of the same size as the Claire Fontaine as you can see for the width there. Those are just too wide, but as far as the height, that would work. And then here's your normal standard size of the A5. So you can see how much wider they are and why those won't work. And so those won't fit because of the, the width and then the Mikel reuse won't fit because of the depth on here. Here is my Hobonichi Cousin. So let me show you this one. Now, as you can see when I get in here, I have a bunch of tabs on the side for the month and I have tabs at the top. Sorry if I need to get that in camera in frame there. So these are going to be an issue. You can zip around these and obviously if you don't have tabs, that's not an issue, but it will fit with the tabs. It's just a little bit tight and, but as you can, the, you can tell, tell by the zipper, the zipper isn't the problem. It is going to be these. So you can kind of scoot these out a little bit, but you can see what I'm talking about. There's not really any room for a pen And actually, I was going to show you, you can actually get the Hobonichi in here as well as the thin notebook. The issue I'm having right now is just going around the corners and my tabs, but it does fit. So there you go. That is completely full now with the Hobonichi and the thin notebook. So just giving you some ideas on how much you can fit in there. Okay, so let me put this back in, which is the original one, and show you about the pen. So here you can 
try and scoot this like this is all the way in but if you scoot this out a little bit and put your pen in there you will be able to put a pen on the side but that's only if you have a thinner notebook and you scoot it out a little bit so that that's an issue for me as far as the top is concerned I don't think especially with this pen it it doesn't really work you guys see what I'm saying so that's kind of an issue if that doesn't make sense to have a notebook cover without a place to put a pen so I think that they're probably assuming that you're going to just put it right here but it doesn't feel so obviously it's not secure it doesn't feel good to me to have just my pen like that so you know probably you're gonna have to put a pen loop on your notebook and just you know get a pen that will fit with something like these the pen clip is going to be the issue you can't have your pen clip out here usually you have to have it up like this or that the pen clip would get in the way of the zipper anyway it does as you can see I, I don't know if I mentioned this but it does open up all the way sometimes you'll have a cover or a, a binder system or something where it doesn't open up all the way because of these right here but this one does so that is really really great it does have cardboard and it goes all the way up to here you can probably see that a little bit on both sides so there's the end of the cardboard so that's what makes it a stiff writing surface which I really really like and then of course this notebook because it's from Japan it does lay as well pretty flat I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to bring up but anyway I think that is about it but I do like this cover even though I you know people have made comments when I when I make what they consider negative comments I'm just really trying to tell you my thought process and everything that I like and dislike about it but overall I really do like this I would buy it again probably knowing what I know now I would probably go with the black just because I wouldn't have to you know worry about the the oils from my fingers showing but that's probably the only thing that I would change on that but I am going to keep this obviously and I I bought it so I could use it with my soft cover notebook so anyway I hope that's been helpful for you Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon.